Hi, wonderful humans. So really quickly, I just wanted to run you through the expectations for this week. Again, you can always find everything that I'm going to be talking about on our daily calendar as well. So if you click on our daily calendar, you'll notice that you are supposed to be watching Steve Heinler's video breaking down the 2020 DBQ, and then you are going to be completing a rubric assignment in Google Classroom. That assignment is located right here. It says 2020 DBQ rubric analysis. Each of you has your own copy that you are going to be writing on. You'll notice that there are two steps really here, your two portions. Um, as you are watching this video, one of the things that I would like you to do is make sure you understand what you should be doing prior to actually reading those documents when you are analyzing that prompt, as well as going through and analyzing the documents, some things that you should be looking for. The very last thing is he has broken down all of the points and what they look like in his video, and so I want you to make sure that if you have any comments or questions or things that you would like to note about the rubric, that you are writing those down on the right-hand side. Know that this rubric is different than last year's rubric or the one that we've been working with this year because this rubric is going to be 10 points versus just out of 7. The second thing that you are expected to do for today Day or for this week is then going to be that you are going to read through two different DBQs tomorrow. One of these DBQs is about the labor systems in the Americas after the Spanish come over and then the second one is going to be about sea-based empires and that one pertains mostly to Unit 4. So again set 10 minutes for one, go through, analyze those documents, try to come up with claims or categories, and you are going to submit that planning doc on Google Classroom, and then you're going to set another 10-minute timer and try to do the exact same thing with the Sea-Based Empires DBQ. So you're getting two rounds of practice for reading and analyzing docs this week. <clears throat> and then on day three, you are only picking one of those two DBQs. So whichever one you felt most comfortable with or you liked your claims and categories better, you are then going to set a 35-minute timer on day three. I know that's a little bit more than what I've been asking in the past but a 35 minute timer and then you are going to write your introduction paragraph with your context and your thesis statement as well as two body paragraphs and these two body paragraphs I want you to analyze at least two points of view or two attempts at sourcing and then I would also like you to do one outside evidence and again this is all linked for you so you'll have your DBQ planning sheet page one and then you are going to be writing here on day three. Again, you are only going to be doing one of the two DBQs on day three. You are not completing both of them. So please make sure you are aware of that, as I don't want you to super stress and think you have to do that part two times. And then on Friday, we will have an optional review session for you at 9 a.m. We'll be talking about Chapter 16, which is our belief systems. Um, so feel free to join us then. Have a great week. Bye.